You know who it is. It's your man, the whore flick, dig a ditch, super six, big Mitch. And I'm kicking in doors with 03 O's. And I'm bringing 28 101s because we Vegas sons. It's the metal lands. It's the metals, man. Big Bolo Yang. And yes, 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 yes. I'm still and go forever be on them things. Bang! Okay. Welcome to Vegas Chronicles, man. Hey, look. I don't know what. Look. What's a danger rating? <laughs> anyway, uh, people want me to do danger rating. I don't know what danger rating is, but people want me to look. And to me, you know, that's that's California stuff, man. When you rate gangs on how violent they are, why would you want to do that? Rate a gang on how violent they are. Because anybody with common sense knowing you really rating it on how stupid you are. What do you mean, rate danger rating? You know, I mean, that's some stupid stuff, man. But, you know, just to, you know, hoods out here in Vegas, I'd give them a danger rating. No problem. You know, who you want to start with? Dr. Gersons? You know, you know, people expect, you know, because I was born and raised from over there, my, my father from over there, for me to be biased. But I, I ain't gonna be biased, you know. Herbert Gerson is the is the biggest gang, you know, that that came up out of uh, 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 Vegas uh, after the GQs died off. Because at one point the GQs, it, it, you know, became the the biggest gang because they occupied so many different areas, like Sydney Sioux, West Side GQs, Northtown GQs, Bonanza Village GQs. You know, it was so many. It was GQs everywhere. So they outnumbered the Gershon at one point in time. But the GQs died off and uh, turned into other stuff. And uh, the Gershon became the biggest gang. And then the Gershon started occupying other areas like Sierra Nevada Arms, Cary Arms, 40 Block. There was some in Vegas Hikes, you know, uh, the Little Cary Arms, you know, the trailer course in Vegas Hikes, you know. The Gershon started being a, a big gang, and even down there with local Abdul them and with Ken folks, you know, in Northtown. You know, that's where Zone, Wack, Gage, Wack, Baby, Wack, all them come from, you know. But anyway, uh, when you're looking at Danger Rate, man, um, you know, starting with the Gershon, you know, the Gershon went through phases. You know, um, when my father was here, when they was fighting, they weren't really doing no shooting, so we're not going to go back there. You know, um, other than the helicopter incident, you know, and what they was going through with the police, they wasn't really, you know, just killing people just, you know, like that. So we're not going to go that way, you know. So we go get to the gang banging part. And the gang banging part really started, really, really started. I mean, when L got killed because fighting the GQs and all that didn't count. So I get a Gersh, Gersh and the danger rating of, of a, uh, at their height, 9.8. You know, 9.8 at their height. And that's including, you know, the wax, the 9K9. That's including everybody. I give them a 9.8. You know, because they had some dudes that was out there that was vicious. Like, you know, he couldn't fight, but he played with that pistol, Donna Ray Page. You had dudes like Bread, you know, Lil Bread, DMC. You know, boom, you know, he did his thing. Master G, they did their thing, man. You know, uh, Bug, uh, Turtle, you know, me, uh, me for sure. Uh, all the wax, you know, I mean, you can't, it's not enough to, to, to carry arm cats, you know what I'm saying? You know, even Wicked Style, you got, you know, you got a lot of people, you know, from over there, you know, off the block and everything that did their thing, man. So I give them a 9.8, you know. Then you got places like Donna. You know, Donna, at their height, you know. Now, one thing about Donna, you know what I'm saying, uh, when it comes to the Crips, Donna is, is probably in the top three when it comes to the, when it, for, for ferociousness of when it comes to Crips. And uh, uh, Donna produced some some lethal dudes, you know, like Lump. Lump didn't want no joke, you know. Lump put in work, you know, C-Rod, Cracker Mac, Blanca, you know, uh, uh, Lace Dog, D-Tay, O.C., Amp, you know, uh, a bunch of them dudes down there, Young T, you know, uh, Lil Boo Clepo, 
you know, a lot of them cats, uh, Blue Zone, uh, Plaid C, you know, C Rod, High Rod, um, uh, Roy Logan, Tyrone Daughtery. It was a bunch of them dudes down there, you know, and, and what Donna did is they woke up banging and they wasn't playing. Donna aired out the uh, 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 Indo Mall, you know what I mean? Came in there with them hockey masks on, did they thing. They was, they was, they was at them sixties. They was on everybody help me. Everybody want to be from Donna. They, they at, at one point their popularity was over the over the roof. Fudu, you know, he was over there at Rancho knocking out security. So Donna was on the maps, and and Donna put in work, you know, and 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 when the Gersons and the Donnas got into it. They seen firsthand just how vicious the Donnas can be, you know, and on a danger rating from all the work that they've done. Cause I can, you know, go, but it's it, it's not, you know, my my videos are not that long. I get a Donna a danger rating of a nine point. I give them a nine point six and a half. Yeah, at they strongest, you know, and then you know rolling sixties, you know they've been here long. You know, they've been here a long time, you know, since the early 80s. And uh, they produced some ferocious creatures. They wasn't, you know, really, you know, real, 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 real active when it was on 40 block. They didn't need to be because they didn't have no really enemies like, like that. But when they became, you know, over there, see, when they went to Crip City and, you know, like I say, the crack hit and everybody started really gang banging, plus their situations with Donna and how Donna, you know, being fresh, and vicious got at the 60s and the 60s being able to withstand, you know, the Gershons and the Donnas coming at them and hold their own, you know, and push back, you know, and even, you know, the, I get a, the 60s, they're they, they are forced to be reckoned with. And, you know, they got some legendary characters over there too, like Pussycat, Torture Chamber, Big Looney, uh, Sticker Bush, Mook, you know, Big Lay, Little Lay, Lou, Ronnie O, Rodney O. Riddler, Quan Mac, you know what I'm saying? Pootie Mac, Crunch, Suicide House, you know what I mean? You you got some hitters over there, Big Mo D, Chuck O, you know, you had some riders over there, Kiko, uh, um, it's a bunch of them dudes, Big Alexis, Mad Meech, you know what I'm saying? Romeo, it's a bunch of them dudes over there that have put in work. So on the danger rating, I get a six O's, man, at their height, because when they went to war with the Gershons, that wasn't no joke. So I got to get him a danger rating of, of a I get him a nine point seven. I get him a nine point seven. I got to because the reason why I say that, the Gershons went to war with Donna. And the Gershons went to war with the sixties. The sixties the sixties and, and, and that war with the girl, the 60s, it, it speaks for itself. You know, I'm going to leave that at that. You know, the 60s get a 9.7. You know, the NTGs, they went to war. You know what I'm saying? They got some legendary figures up over there, too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, after, after Duron got killed, all hell broke loose, man. You know, I mean, the incident at Shades and then the NTGs were not playing. The NTGs was, boy, the NTGs was coming through there letting off 84, 64 round, tearing it up. So on the danger rating, and they had some legendary figures too, like K-Dog, Gunsmoke, you know, uh, Tony Brown, um, Razor, uh, uh, Cole Jack, uh, 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 Lil Wet for show, Dank Man. Um, there's a few of them up over there, Big Jimmy, um, Super, uh, super cat, look, wash. Uh, it, it's, 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 a, it's some NTGs, blue devil, a uh, big blue devil, you know what I mean? Uh, on a danger rate, man, when they was at their height, man, when they was tripping behind do wrong, you know, you got to get NTGs, they flowers, man. So on a danger rate, I get NTGs and nine point, I get them a nine point, I get them a nine point seven too. You know what I'm saying? I get them a nine point seven, I get them a nine point seven. Now, people going to give me flack for only giving Donna 9.6. And I gave Donna 9.6 because Donna, Donna, they was real treacherous in the beginning. 
in the beginning they was real treacherous. But what people don't understand is that, you know, just like the Gersons, that water hit Donna, that Sherm hit Donna hard. And everybody know that. It hit the Gerson hard, it hit Donna hard. And then you got play, the ABMs. The ABMs, man, is a small gang. Legendary characters like Blue Loco, John Lee, Killer, No Shame, Maniac, you know what I mean, High Top, Lex, you know what I mean? They had some 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 figures over there, and they was lethal. And, you know, they went to war with the Gershons, too. On the de for To be a small gang like that, you know, and, you know, I can go over things they did, but, like I say, my video's too short. I might have to do a two-part. I get a I get an ABM's a danger rating of a 9.5. I get him a danger rating of a 9.5 because they're a small gang. And then you got the Parus. You know, and the Parus, man, is a is a old one of the it's they, they the third oldest gang after the hood PB. Yeah, Paru. And you know, especially from the shoulders. And they produce some legendary characters too. Like K Lay, J B, Slow Pony, Iron P, you know, Big Red, Big Bo, you know, uh, uh Melly Mel, uh Quando, Woody, you know, uh Red Mac, you know what I mean? Uh they got they got some they got some they got some boys over there. Lil Dave, uh uh uh, uh P Stone, Spanky Boo, rest in peace, you know what I'm saying, Easy Money, Dirty D. You know, there's a bunch of them. Sweet P, you know, everything else with a P in it. You know what I mean? Them Pyrus, you know. And then they, they got they got fighters and they got, you know, whatever you want to do. You know, so on a danger rating, I get a Pyrus, you know what I'm saying, at the tip, at the height of they, of they, of they rain. You know, just because they got hand guys and female hand guys, you got to get a Pyrus. Uh, I get a Pyrus. 9.7. I get him a 9.7. I get him a 9.7. Some are arguing 9.8. I get him a 9.7 though. You know, I'm pretty sure they'll get themselves more than that, but I give him a 9.7. West Coast, they lethal. You know what I'm saying? They got some legendary characters up over there too. The Marble Mountain Boys ain't nothing to mess with. They was the first ones to knock down the Gerson. You know, gang banging wise, you know, so that alone get them, a, you know, up there on the danger rating, you know, and the coast have always been known for putting in work. And they got legendary killer characters like Hercules, Alexis, Sherman, you know, uh, uh, Montana Max, the Taylor brothers in general, Clint, you know, my cousin KB, uh, John John, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, the twins, uh, my cousin Noonie, rest in peace, you know, uh, you had a, you had a, you had a, you got a lot of dude, a lot of, a lot of people from the coast, you know what I'm saying? FOX, LG, Burger B, rest in peace, you know, and then the danger rating, I get a West Coast Bluffs at their height because they knocked down L, you know what I'm saying, and, and took the Gersons to whoa, man. You got to get there, you got to, you got to get them a 9.72, you know, and then you got the hood, the hood, the oldest blood gang in Vegas, and you know, in, in the hood, no doubt, you know. All of North Town is blue except the hood, you know, basically. And and, and the hood been there and, and, and stood there strong, you know. And they produced some legendary characters like the Carter Brothers, the Lockhearts, the Tatums, Billy Wilson, uh, uh, Bert, Burtis, you know what I mean, uh, Dirty Rock, uh, you got uh, Corey Mann and them, uh, my cousin Corey Allen and them, uh, you got a uh, Ice Dr. Rock, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, Lonnie Lee, Smooth Rock, Big Butch, all them, all them. You got a bunch of hoods down there. And on the danger rating, you know, you got to get, I get a hood, you know. The hood, Fish Mouth, all them, man. Buntry, all them, man. The hood has some dangerous dudes down there. That crazy ass boy from California, uh, C Mac. Uh, the hood, I, I, I I get a hood a 9.7, 9.7 and a half. Yeah, 9.7 and a half. A lot of people ain't gonna like it. I, I that's my opinion. It's just my opinion. You know what? I'm not gonna get to all it. I'm not gonna get to everybody. You know what I mean? The PBs, 
You know, they the they the they the, they the oldest West Side Blood gang. You know, and I, you know, the PBs, you know, they they was treacherous and they was fighters too. The PBs had a reputation, you know, Ted, you know, Ricky Cooper, Big Clyde, you know what I'm saying, Goo, you know what I'm saying, uh, all the OGs, you know, Big Mark, Danny Boy, KJ, you know what I'm saying, LJ, you know, Fat Dad, all them dudes up, up over the, you know, uh, uh, Sherman Garden and the Jets, 10 ounces, you know, uh, 10 ounce, uh, I don't know nothing about little 10 ounce, but big 10 ounce. Uh, you know, the Carter brothers, you know, even though Bunte started claiming West Coast, Bunte was Weaver Street blood. Uh, but anyway, I get a PBs. Uh, the PBs is an old gang, so I, I got to get the PBs. They props. I get the PBs. They fuck. They be photo pot rules. So I get the PBs. You know what I'm saying? I get the PBs. Uh, a nine point set. A nine point. I get the PBs a nine point six. I get a PBs a 9.6. I get a PBs a 9.6. I get a PBs a 9.6. Um, um, 40 Block, let's do them real quick, you know what I'm saying? They they ride with the Gersons, but then by themselves, you know, they went to war with the 60s, you know, and they held their own, you know what I'm saying, against the 60s. You know, the Block did their thing. They not a real big gang, and they got some, you know, Buzz, Old Keystone, you know, Tiptoes, FD, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Uh, J-Rock, rest in peace. You know, I ain't going to mention a certain few of them because some of y'all PC'd up when you went to prison, and you know who you is, so I ain't going to talk about you. But uh, 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 Fly and, and, and a few more up over there, and like I said, they're not real deep, so on a danger rating, I get a block of 9.2. I get a block of 9.2. By themselves, without the Gerson help, I give them a 9.2. You know what I'm saying? And that's good to be a small gang and even be in the nines. So I give them a 9.2. Then you got Vegas Hikes, you know, the uh, UCCs or Rolling 50s or whatever you want to call them now. When they was UCCs, they was laid back, you know what I'm saying? They was more GQ-ish, but they was laid back. Well, they was 501s, you know, one of my best friends other than Tim up from up over there was, was Herbie High. I grew up with Tyrone Givens them on uh, Blankenship. My grandma stayed on Blankenship, you know, so I, I knew G-Force, Teresa, I knew all them, Mark Burrell, I grew up with all them, D, Horn, all them, you know, and Vegas Heights is, a, is, is, is one of them hoods that had all the females, you know. I could still hear Secret Love Us, yeah, that's what we are. That, they used to be knocking through that, man. Because I used to have to walk through Vegas, uh, Vegas Hikes to go to my grandma's house. Because what her house is, when you walk around the park, it go right into Van Earth. My grandma stayed in Van Earth in Valley View. But I grew, I grew up with Vegas Hikes, you know. And the Hikes was real cool, man. You know, until, you know, I say around 89, man, they, they developed this attitude, man, when they got with the 60s and just started, you know, they was on some Durson hating stuff, you know, uh, and, they got active, you know, and and they put in work, you know. The 50s, you know, they had people up over there like Kiki Low, Big Steve, G-Force. Like I say, Horn, D, Mun, you know what I mean? Lipo, you know what I'm saying? Hervey, uh, you know, uh, uh, my boy Hervey Hyde, he OG, the old Hervey Hyde, you know. The Twins, you know what I mean? You know, you had a few people, you know, from Vegas Sites that did that thing. You know, on the James Ray, and I get a Vegas, I get a Vegas Sites, same thing. I get 40 block, 9.2. You know what I'm saying? I give them a 9.2, you know. Uh, uh, and then you got, you know, uh, carry arms. You know, I mean, which part you talking about? The alley shots of the K-9s. Uh, anyway, uh, let's talk about the K-9s. Um... <clears throat> Now, when the K-9s, I'm not finna go over their history. I'm gonna let them do it and let them tell it. But uh, uh, I already went over their history, so y'all know what it is. But anyway, uh, on the danger rating of the K-9s, and the K-9s, you know, they had, you know, they one of their most gangsterous, you know, uh, figure from over there was Tricky T. You know, Tricky T, Richie Rich, people like that. They was, they were, they were, they were, they were no joke. You know, but then you also had legendary figures over there like like Tricky T, uh, Freaky P, uh, you know, Do Me Right, you know, uh, Kev Logue, his brother Sweat, uh, um, Ray Lou, uh, 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 
forehead, Terrell Jackson. Uh, I consider Terrell Jackson the K-9 because he damn sure ain't no Gershon. Um, uh, uh, who else? Uh, Baby J, uh, Skeet, rest in peace. You know, uh, it's, it's a few. Anthony Webb, you know what I mean? A a a Jody, Jody Gyro, you know, a a Ice Dog, Milo Thomas, you know. I mean, it, it, it's a few nines, man. And Dan Loke for sure, you know. So I, I give, I get on a danger rating, you know, the nines when it was at their height. You know, the nines was well, wasn't no joke, man. So I get a K nines to 9.4. For real, for real. Because the, cause the K nines wasn't no joke. I ain't gonna lie, the K nines wasn't no joke. Terrell Pearl then when they was young and they was vibrant. Couldn't, no, couldn't too many people whoop Terrell Pearl from the hands. And people know that. Buzzo, Bob Green didn't even want them hands from Terrell Pearl. Buzzo, you didn't even want him. I'm keeping it real. We was all growing up. Buzzo, you was over there whooping everybody out. But you didn't want to see Terrell Pearl. You did not. After, only, only after he messed his neck up. Terrell Pearl was over there whooping out everything, just like Tanya Washington was. And I need to do one on her because she need her own episode because she didn't whoop some of you dudes out so bad. Some of y'all still suffering side effects from them ass whoopings. She didn't put fits, feet, and everything when y'all motherfucking ass out there. Excuse my French. Her, Girl Bug, Desiree, Big Vanna, Mary Jane. Y'all remember them? Dorothy Ann, Bridget Mingo, Kathleen. Y'all remember them? Yeah, K-Rock from Donna. Infrared, 380 from the hood. Yeah, y'all remember them? Baby Blue from 60s, DK from 60s. DK from 60s. Y'all remember DK from 60s? Whew. Yeah, I bet y'all do. Yeah, I bet y'all do. I know said Mac for sure remember her. But anyway, uh, said Mac from Donna. But anyway, uh, you got uh, the Brownie Boys. Now, the Brownies is... I don't want to be disrespectful, but I want to tell you the truth. The Brownies, they did their thing. Coup de Kai, to me, Coup de Kai was probably the, Coup de Kai was probably the hardest Brownie to me. Rest in peace, Coup de Kai. You know, and, but they did their thing. The Brownies did their thing. They had some figures, Big Laugh, you know what I'm saying? Big Friendly, uh, Gilcrest, you know, uh, Scarface, Bobcat, you know what I'm saying? PG, they, they, you did, they, they, they had, they had a lot, they had some, but on the danger rating, I get a brownie's a uh, 8.9. I'm keeping it real. And then you had uh, Bonanza Village. Uh, Bonanza Village. We got out with the village. Uh, Bus was up over there. Bread didn't like the fact that Bus was up over there, but Bus did what you know what he wanted to do. You know, Bus. You know they. But the Bus was like a big homie to them. You know. But uh, I thought Bus started Bonanza Village, but they had to correct me on that because. You know, Bus was over there, you know, but he was just showing love to them. But we had a fight with them, me and uh, a little, little dog them behind over there by them garbage cans in the back. And uh, I ain't going to lie, the one boy that died, I think he died in a car accident. Huh? I think him and, uh, what? Him and I think, uh, who that, Big Mark? I think him and Big Mark, the one that died in the car accident with Big Mark. I think him and a few more back there. We had a fight with them cats back there, man, and they got out. They didn't run or nothing. One of them slapped little dog in the head with a 40. Slapped him hard in the muck. Bah! Slapped him in the head with a 40. And and we had to, we had to, you know, get out, you know, but they didn't rush. They didn't run, you know what I'm saying? We had to rush him, though, but he slapped the shit out of little dog. Hey, little dog, you remember when that, uh, that, uh, Bonanza Village dude slapped you in the head with that bottle? When we got through fighting them, you still was rubbing the top of your head, boy, like you had a horse side on it. They slapped that. Get out of here. But anyway, I get a village, you know what I'm saying, because they did their thing, especially in the war with the with the brownies, because the brownies were so clicked up with the Gersons, and you know the 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 Bonanza Village boys clicked up with Sydney Sue. So, you know, I get a I get a I get him a I get him a nine point I get him a nine point two. I get him a nine point two, not to be disrespectful, because they're a small game. I give him a nine point two. You know what I'm saying? I get a Sydney, I get Sydney Sue the same thing, a nine point two. They did some things, but they held their own. They came together, two small gangs to go against the Gersons. They wouldn't let the '60s. I respect Bonanza Village because they didn't turn six O. A lot of people didn't know the '60s tried to try tried to turn Bonanza Village to six O's. A lot of people don't know that, and Bonanza Village 
they, they didn't turn six old. So they couldn't be bullied. That's why I put them in the nines. And then you got Winslow Park. Now, the old Winslow, double O Winslow, we ain't gonna count them. I don't think they killed the pigeon, but we ain't gonna count them. But Hillside, I don't know too much about them, but from what I hear and the work they put in, I give Hillside from the work I hear and that they put in that small game. I never really was, they didn't exist when I was out. So this is my opinion. From what I've heard, I get a hill size of nine point. Mm, I get a hill size of nine point one. Cause I don't know nothing about them. I know about Sydney Sue. I know about Bonanza Village. I don't know about Hillside, but I get a hill size of nine point one. They harder than the brownies, and I don't got no nothing against the brownies, but they harder than the brownies for sure. For sure. You got White Street. White Street always been a money street. It ain't. It ain't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Never like gang bangers. White Street been balling since 84, 85. I used to be over there with uh, Go Googie from GQ in the wheelchair. Me and him and Ralphie Boy used to be up over there. But when, when they got active, you know, White Street probably one of the most lethalist gang, little, small, lethalist gang in Vegas, you know. And I get White Street, you know, because they didn't take big gangs to walk and held their own. <laughs> uh, I get a White Street, man. That's the only that's the only small game I'm gonna give a nine point. I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a White Streets man for real.